Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the beta 2 of macOS Sonama. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hyped. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button because it does motivate me a lot. And I am so close to 10k and I'm gonna get to 10k as soon as we can hook up to the channel. I am sure you will love the content that I'm creating for you guys. Without wasting any more time, let's get right into this video now. All right, so starting off with the size of this update, the size of this update was around one gigabyte on my M1 MacBook Air, which is actually quite big for a beta too and we will see the beta sizes getting reduced as we will get closer to the final release number one good thing for people who had low on storage who had low storage on their macs including me i have a 256 gb m1 macbook air so people who had low storage on their mac will free up some of their storage i freed up around 10 gigabytes after installing this update now that is really really big change of course it will vary from person to person depending on what kind of cache and junk file your mac has but for sure you will get a lot of your storage back after installing to this beta in order to update to this beta you have to make sure that your macbook is charged and also you have to make sure that your apple id is logged into the apple developer program not to forget if you are already enrolled in the beta cycle you know what to do so just install this beta right now because it is really really fun i love these new widgets which are really really interactive but 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 wait a minute wait a minute for example if you are not already into betas and you are considering installing macOS Sonama, should you install it on your MacBook? The answer is hell no because oh my god betas are real pain in the butt i swear betas are just not refined at all that is the reason they are not announced to public yet you should definitely not install it on your macbook because it will bring up a lot of issues not to forget even with me there has been times when i was on beta mac os big sur beta and there were keyboard issues my keyboard was not working then there was a time when I, my trackpad was not working and i had to restart my macbook so many times and i also remember once my macbook was stuck on the apple screen which was so freaking frustrating so just avoid installing the beta on your macbook even if you are installing make sure to take a backup take two backups of your macbook before installing it the widgets on the beta 2 seems a little bit more responsive and i had some issues related to widgets earlier too where widgets were not loading up and they were just freezed up for some reason i was not able to do anything with those widgets they were not showing me any information on anything they were freezed and now they are not freezed and they are fixed on the beta 2 of mac os sonama then talked about the performance the animation seems a little bit more smoother on the mac os sonama beta 2 and the performance in general feels pretty much the same i tried running geek pinch that also shows pretty much the same result as previous it was showing the performance side there aren't any major difference on the beta 2 but yes the animation does feel a little bit more snappy then talking about the battery life the battery life is something which is a bit too early right now to talk about obviously people using apple silicon uh, max are just not going to complain about it because apple silicon max even if they are giving the worst possible battery your mac will easily last you a day for sure because I just can't believe to this day it's been over two years I have been using Apple Silicon and Apple Silicon is just crazy efficient. So my MacBook right now lasts well over six hours even after using it on a beta and doing my day-to-day -day task which includes 4k video editing. It still gives me really amazing results and yes I have noticed that my MacBook is definitely getting noticeably more warmer on the beta 2. It is pretty normal on betas but yeah compared to the beta 1 my MacBook is getting noticeably more warmer doing normal tasks on 
Chrome, Safari, or just browsing in general. The conclusion of this video is the beta 2 is amazing update. It has a lot of bug fixes, which I have talked about in my previous video as well. It is an amazing update. You should definitely install it if you are already on the beta cycle. If you are on the beta one, you should definitely go ahead and install it on your MacBook. The widgets are now improved as well. There are a lot of improvements on the beta too you will love it for sure if you are already on the beta one and if you are considering installing beta on your macbook i should say still wait for some time probably uh, for a week or two apple will be coming up with the public beta really really soon they usually come up with the public beta in the first two weeks of july so fingers crossed let's hope so that the public beta of mac os sonama will be here in the next two to three weeks well that's pretty much it for today's quick little episode thank you so much for watching this video till the end my name is jay aka tech hyped signing off peace